good boy. everybody and happy Saturday. Today's Saturday. I don't know what day this video is going up, but Brian and I are in the car. Turn right onto Marina Expressway. And we're on our way to go look at puppies. We're so excited. <laughs> Brian went to go look at some last week. I wasn't able to go. And this week we're gonna go look at some. <sighs> See how you feel when you part with that money for that ticket that's two or three or four times as much as the general admission ticket. That alone will grow your money mindset. But one of the biggest reasons I want you to do it is because when you stretch and you get that ultimate VIP ticket to an event, and I don't care what event it is, whether it's Tony Robbins, whether it's a business seminar, whether it's Thrive, whether it is any of these awesome events that you see us going to, when you expand and reach and get that ultimate VIP ticket, what you're really buying is an This is the first picture ever taken of your dog. Yes. So you get to keep it. Thank you. Woo! We're gonna have lots of fun. We're about to ring the bell. We're about there to ring go. the bell, buddy. Yes. Good job. Oh, good boy. Do you want to ring it? <laughs> <laughs> we just got our baby. We just got him. We are so excited. He is super squirmy, super curious. He's nervous. Super nervous. He's excited. But he, we're so excited to train him and get him to feel comfortable. Oh, we just got lots of stuff. All the stuff. And we're gonna be the best parents. The little bugger. You're the little bugger. <laughs> I am so sorry. I'm gonna be talking in baby voice a little bit more than normal because hi. Oh, you're too sweet. You're too sweet. Guys, we don't have a name for him yet. But he's coming home. You're coming home with us. Ah! Oh. I love you. I love you, little boy. What's that? Is that your new toy? Oh. Puppy's home. He's like so tired from the drive. Hi baby. This is your new home. This is your new home. Say hello. Say hello. Oh, hi. Oh. I just love him so much. We are at Barbell Brigade for a ladies lifting event and I can't wait. You'll see. Hi. I just let her intro. <laughs> We got some donuts. We're here at the Barbell Brigade. 
We have Marie and Lizzie. Lizzie. Lizzie, Lizzie with the awesome mm -hmm. hair. An awesome donut. And the mm -hmm. dog lint on her pants. Yep. She's a dog mom too. Is it still there? <laughs> no, 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 I don't see it anymore. <laughs> we are about to do an event that Meg is putting on. She's so awesome and she was just like, hey, let's do a ladies lifting event. And here we all are, so let's go inside. <laughs> Cooper. He's an eight week old cattle dog, blue healer, and the cutest, sweetest, sweetest little man ever. And I just love it <laughs> so much. Oh my gosh. So we, we've been waiting, I've been waiting to get a puppy for a really, really long time. He's just sleeping on me. How adorable. I've been wanting a dog for at least a year now. I grew up with a dog. He passed away when he was 16 and a half. It was about two years ago now. And I don't know, I've always just loved dogs. Like I've wanted my own for such a long time. I haven't had one of my own. I got my dog when I was in first or second grade. And Brian's had a dog too for quite a while. Oh my goodness. Anyways. Our goal was to get a dog back in July, but Brian stated that he wasn't 100% ready for a dog just then because again, he was going through lots of life changes all at once, career change, new girlfriend, new place to live. He was not adjusted yet to here and he didn't want another. Another thing to adjust to, like obviously we're very, very, very well aware. I'm gonna pull you guys closer so you can see. Woo! The little babe. Obviously, we're very well aware that getting a puppy is a huge commitment. We're, you know, obviously a 10 to 15 year commitment depending on how long the baby lives. Um, but, you know, I've come to terms with every single one of those things. Um, thought about everything. I'm so ready for all the pee, the poop, the scratches, the bites, like puppy teething and vet bills and all of that stuff. And I'm like so ready to get him trained. Thank you to every single person who said they have a blue healer or a cattle dog. Sorry, you guys are a little lower than I wanted. And it let me know that they are very intelligent. They're very hyperactive, energetic. Um, and we're so excited to be outside more and hang out with this little guy and get him walking and get him doing, you know, all of the other dog-like things that he has to do to get rid of his energy because otherwise he'll just tear up the place. Um, but we're excited about that and like training him and... Oh my goodness, we're so excited. Obviously, he's got a little separation anxiety because uh, he's a he's a herding dog and he's very loyal. 
so he'll stay like right by our sides and he like will not leave us so we're crate training him and making sure that he feels comfortable and safe in his crate so he doesn't feel like he needs to be around us all the time and yeah we adopted him from the mutt shack it's a place that saves animals from going to kill shelters and neglect all right and the camera died before i finished talking about the baby but i just wanted to say that we are so excited to train him we're so excited to have him i'm so excited to show you guys his whole life make sure you welcome him to the channel and give him a warm welcome and say hi cooper and follow him on instagram which is going to be right here it's like a little scratch but it's okay and this necklace is from i'll put where this necklace is from right here because you guys always ask me where i get my like little tiny necklaces <laughs> nice little scratch accessory after cooper yesterday was the first day we had him and sunday um, was our first like full day having him and I had to leave actually to go to a really fun event hosted by Meg Squats So I'm gonna insert that footage here. She hosted in a ladies lifting event So it was me um, and a bunch of other girls who are amazing power lifters those who are which are much stronger than I am But it was really awesome to see them and I actually got to pull a 455 pound deadlift Tandem deadlift with a partner. So that means I still got it insert that footage here <laughs> Thank you so much, Meg, for putting on that event. You guys go follow everybody who was at that event. They're all amazing powerlifters. If you guys are interested in powerlifting, honestly, I kind of just got my fire reinvigorated after doing that event. Like, I haven't lifted heavy in quite a while, but it was so inspiring to be there. And I'm going to be going back on a program pretty soon, but probably not till January 1st. I'm going to do the whole New Year, New Me thing. So stay tuned for what I'm doing because it's going to be something you guys can go along and do with me, but stay tuned, I'm not doing it just yet. Updates in terms of business stuff. The next video you guys are gonna see is gonna be, I'm gonna use this whiteboard right here and that's gonna be the next video. I'm gonna lay out like the structure of my businesses just because I feel like I've been getting a lot of questions about my team and how I structure things and how I make sure my clients are getting um, success and how things kind of all just run and it's amazing and it's been so cool to see what that has looked like and has transformed into this year. So that's gonna be the next video. FOCA is gonna be relaunching um, in the new year. So stay tuned for that if you guys haven't gotten FOCA and you are interested in getting FOCA, we're doing an entire revamp. Like the whole website's changing. It's gonna be 10, 10, 10 million times better. We're investing in a new, um, instructional designer to make the course just really functional, really, really engaging and making sure that everyone's learning what they're supposed to learn, like investing heavily into the customer experience is something that's very important to me. Um, so that we're making our courses better and a better experience for everybody so they can learn more stuff. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Make sure you guys, if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram and make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up on your way out and then subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's gonna be right there. It's the red button down below. Make sure you guys press subscribe. I'm almost at 200,000 subscribers, which is really, really amazing and super cool. And I'm really excited to share with you guys what we're doing, what I'm doing next with the dog. If you wanna see more dog, press subscribe. Do it. Catch you later.